Someone's asking, um, this is a cool question. I've been a mechanic in the Navy for 10 years, experience in leadership, project management, and public speaking as well. What do you look for in potential candidates for employment at 034? Um, I'll just answer really quickly. Uh, certainly, um, we evaluate every candidate for how well can they do the job. The more experience you have, the better. Um, the more that you've done the job well and can can show that you have a track record of doing that, the better. Um, but at least half of what we're looking for has nothing to do with experience. It has to do with the values that, that each uh, candidate holds. Um, and in, in this room, uh, you can't see them, but we have signs about all, all of our company values for, for employees and they're things such as professional, accountable, positive attitude, driven, uh, customer focused and team players. And so we evaluate each candidate through those uh, core values. For example, in order to be accountable, you would have to be able to admit that you've made a mistake uh, and that you've done something wrong. And so during the interview process, we would want to know about times that you've uh, made a mistake and what you did wrong to see that. Do you have a real understanding of how you contributed to the problem? Uh, really at Zero Through Four Motorsport, we don't want to to be having arguments with people trying to convince each other that they were wrong. We really want people to come forward, um, be able to self-analyze and quickly arrive at these conclusions, learn and move forward. Um, otherwise, we would just spend all day just arguing stuff like that. Yeah, and you have to expect there's going to be any mistakes. It's, yeah. it's all part of the process, especially when you're developing and, and, and you know, uh, pushing the envelope. Uh, yeah. So mistakes come with the territory and you have to own up to them and learn from them. Yeah, and you know, this isn't a place where that will crucify people for making mistakes. Uh, certainly not the first time. <laughs> the tenth it's time, the same mistake over fifth or tenth time. time yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be a problem. But um, but I, I think I think mainly what we're looking for is like low drama people that aren't toxic. We just we just have a zero tolerance policy for toxicity, yep. for disrespect, um, for you know gossip and all the things that kind of break people apart and, and break up the the company of the organization. Um, you know, a lot that locker room mentality that sometimes you see. At there's, some no, there's no hazings. There's no the hazing. Yeah, there's no just, teasing. We, we, we just don't want people walking around here feeling jilted or offended or disrespected in any way. There's no reason. You know, we all spend most of our lives here, and uh, we're we're here more than anywhere else. Uh, you know, we we spend our days here, so we want to work with other people that that respect us and. Who can, who can admit when they're wrong, for example. So um, that's that's a big one. Um, and uh, we, we've had people that were really good at the job that just couldn't get along with other people. And at the, at the end of the day, we'd rather have less experienced people who are willing to learn, mm -hmm. who can really get along with other people, than really experienced people who are toxic and, you know, constantly... You know, so so yeah. I mean, if, you're, if you're the biggest rock star at your job, but you bring a dozen people around you down by the right. just the way you are, yeah, you're a negative uh, exactly. impact on the company. It doesn't matter how good you are at the one thing. Yeah, and you know we have we have a high standard for work ethic. Um, you know, this isn't a, a place to kind of fly under the radar or cover your ass. Yeah, coasting doesn't work very well. Yeah, it, that's not going to work because everyone here is working really hard and giving their best, and we can't expect those people to to work with other people who are just trying to get by that's not the kind of culture we want to cultivate here so hopefully that was that was helpful i think you'll, you'll find that we have a much higher standard for employee values than a lot of companies people are responding yeah there's too much toxicity in the car community yeah it's well tough. There's a lot of toxicity it's, it's all over right now. it's all over right now so you know for us we we want this to be a positive place where we can we can be productive and, and be on the same page. We're all, we're all on the same team. So, uh, like for example, we don't want the shipping department to have a vendetta against the sales department because you know sales wants them to ship stuff faster and they don't want to you know whatever. You see this stuff at a lot of companies, and we just don't have time for that here. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's uh, I spend a lot of time here, and that's that's how I I choose to spend my days is around cool people who are fun, who are respectful of each other, and. Uh, who like to be happy. Yep. So.